Hi, this is Stuart Shumway. This video clip explains how to make box plots in Google Sheets. Uh, box plots allow you to look at large amounts of data and compare one to another. It's a graphical representation so your mind can wrap itself around lots of data quickly. So the ACT, we have 100 students, four categories. We have math, science, English, and reading. A lot of data to look at. What we need is we need a low, a first quartile, third quartile, and high to make a box plot. So we'll say equals min. Well, the minimum of the column for math, that's in column B, starts at row 2, goes down to row 101, or you can just select that. And for quartile, they say equals QUA, and then I'll just select quartile, and then it's needs the data. That's also B2 to B101 or you can just select that. But then you also need to put which quartile. Let's do the first quartile. <clears throat> Third quartile, very similar. Select B2 colon B101 comma third quartile and then the max. Oops, have to put the equal so we'll calculate And let's do that for science, English, and reading. Well, the box plot in Google Sheets is done with a candlestick chart, and it wants it in, instead of having all, for math all those in one row, it wants them all in one, I mean, all in one column, it wants them in all in one row. So I'm going to select this and copy it. And I'm going to paste it. Special. I'll just do the values. And while I'm here, and that's highlighted, I'm going to select copy. Come down here. And I will paste special. And I want to transpose it. So now, math goes across this way instead of down. It goes across. So with that selected still, I can just say insert chart. It chooses a box, I mean a bar chart. Let's change that to a, it's called a candlestick chart. There we have our box plot. So I'm making the text a little bigger there so you can see it a little better. Um, so the boxes show you huge amounts of data that you can kind of compare math to English. Averages may not tell you the whole story, but sometimes box plots give you a little more information. Just a way of statistically analyzing huge amounts of data.